Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up and use Varnish on your Cloudways websites. So in this video, if you don't know what Varnish is, don't worry, I'll explain what it is along the way, but I wanna get right on into the tutorial here. And we're gonna be working with my website. It's just a basic dummy website at this point, careerquitter.com. And the first thing I wanna show you, if we are in Google Chrome, if we go to View Developer, Developer Tools, um, and just reload the page here, uh, and click on in the network tab, make sure all selected, click on career quitter. We can take a look at the header and specifically the response header and we see no indication here, um, especially at this level down here at the server level that there is any caching going on. Okay, there is compression, there's gzip compression and you do see this Cloudways cache dash DE, I'm not sure what that is, but it's not, um, not the varnish type of cache that we're talking about. And I, I did promise you to a quick explanation of varnish. And varnish is basically, um, you got your client, you got your web server, varnish sits in between the two and basically says, if it has seen this page before, it's not even gonna ask the web server for it. It's just gonna take the copy that it has and send it back to the client. So the first time you do that, right? The first time somebody requests that page and varnish has never seen it, it's gonna store a copy of that. Um, from the web server and then send it back to the client. But anytime after that, that that page is requested, it's just gonna not even hit your web server. It's gonna go directly to Varnish and send the response back. So hopefully that makes sense. We can demonstrate it though for you in real time here. So I'm gonna get out of this guest window, go back over to Cloudways and enable Varnish at the server level. Cause before this video, I disabled it at the server level. So click on your server in Cloudways, go down to manage services and under here, the last one actually, Varnish, it's, you can see the status is stopped. So let's go ahead and enable that. And this will take, you know, five or 10 seconds, but when it's enabled, then we can go back into Google Chrome and do pretty much what we just did. So it's running now. Let's open up another guest window. We'll go to view developer, developer tools and career quitter.com. So we'll go ahead and load that page. And what we wanna do is click on, um, not this one because this looks like it was a redirect, but this one. And we can see now that we have um, this extra data field here. We have X dash cache, which is a miss. And the reason we see a miss in this case is this is the first time Varnish has seen this web page since we enabled Varnish, right? So um, at this point, what just happened was the client requested the web page. Varnish was like, I don't have this web page. Let me ask the web server for the web page. The web server goes ahead and generates the web page, passes it back to Varnish, and then passes it to uh, the client, us, right here on Google Chrome. So now, if we refresh the page, the same thing's going to happen, except we're going to ask uh, our server for the web the web page, and Varnish is going to have a copy of it. So we're not even going to hit. We're not even going to go to the web server. We're just going to return that right away, and that's a huge performance boost. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. So remember we saw a miss here for the X cache. Let's refresh the page and go to career quitter again. And now under X cache, you'll see that it was a hit. So that means that uh, Varnish found that in its cache store, right? And it just returned it directly. We didn't even have to go to Nginx, the web server to get that page. So, um, that's that's it like that's how easy it is to set up varnish on cloudways and the thing is that was at the server level you might have multiple websites on your server some which you do want varnish with some which you don't want varnish with in cases where you have a lot of dynamic content um, where a page has you know changing information all the time then you don't want to enable varnish so let me just show you real quick how um, you can enable disable varnish at the application level so if you go in Cloudways, your dashboard, go to applications. Um, I was working on this application, Tony Florida. And if you go to do, 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 application settings, you'll see that you have the ability to toggle varnish on and off for this specific instance of WordPress in this case. Um, you also have some additional varnish settings here for this WordPress instance where you can exclude, let's just show you quick, you can exclude a certain URL or a certain cookie um, from having uh, it go through Varnish. So again, if you have a dynamic page where a lot of stuff is changing, 
but you still want to use varnish on the rest of your website, then you can exclude that page right here. Uh, yeah, that's it guys. If you have any questions about varnish on Cloudways, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. If you want to see more videos about Cloudways and optimizations and how everything works, um, check out one of these videos over here. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this, and if you do, I'll see you in the next one.